Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. Bottom line up front, do you ever get frustrated about trying to figure out which receiver and which transmitter work together with the FlySky radios? That's what I'm gonna show you in this video right now. There's a link in the description of this video on YouTube where you can click on that link and it's gonna take you right to the thing that I'm talking about, which is a basically a chart that tells you which receivers work with which transmitters. So that's if that's the short version, you you that's good for you, then click that link and thanks. Uh, but I'm going to get into it. I'm going to walk you through how to get there and all that stuff right after I say thanks to our sponsor for today, which is PCB Way. PCB Way makes custom printed circuit boards, and that's what PCB stands for. You can send them your design if you're creating a, a custom circuit board, and they have all kinds of materials to choose from, different thicknesses of circuit boards, flexible ones. It's crazy. You can send them your files. They can actually uh, assemble all the components together as an extra service, so it's ready to rock and roll when it comes to your door. They have like thousands of millions, I don't even know, a ton of components. And they also offer rapid prototyping services, which is very interesting to me because I'm an inventor kind of guy, and so that's what I like. So they offer CNC machining, sheet metal bending, injection molding, and 3D printing in various types of materials. So that way, maybe that you don't have access to certain machining methods or materials they can certainly help you with that so if you're interested in that there's a link down in the description below this video that's my link uh, so use that link I think it's gonna give you a little bit of a discount I'm trying to do what I can for you so if that's interesting check out that link in any case let's get into this right now let's jump on to our FlySky website which is flysky-cn.com <clears throat> we're gonna come to the website and what we're looking for is that uh, chart. So we're gonna go to products on the top menu. We're gonna scroll down on the left-hand side. There's a menu and on the very bottom, it says TX-RX form. We're gonna click on that. And here we have basically some charts. We have the AFHDS3 chart. I'm gonna explain what those things mean in a second. The ANT compatibility chart. And then what probably most of you are interested in is the AFHDS2A, AFHDS2, and AFHDS compatibility chart. Now, what are those things? The AFHDS2A, um, the ANT, and the AF AFHDS3. Those are called protocols or radio protocols. Um, the technical meaning behind all that doesn't really matter, but basically those are that's the method of communication that these radios use to talk to the uh, receiver. And so that matters because it, they basically, people don't like it when I say it's like a language because it's not like a language. There's, it's not a good example. It's not a good example, but it's kind of like they got to be speaking the same language. Okay. They got to be using the same protocol. Um, so this chart right here, and you can actually right click. You can open the image in a new tab, save the image as like a file and you can copy the image. So they have that on the website right there for you. Like, let's say you have the uh, FSI-6 uh, transmitter, and you can see which receivers are compatible with it. So you've got the X14S, X8B, X6B, a whole lot of them, the, the IA4B, I don't really ever use those, the IA6B, that's a common one, um, and then the IA10. Now you'll notice that's in red, any of them in red, they don't make anymore. Um, but they have them on here. So thank you for that fly sky. That's useful. Um, so you, and you can do that with all of these. So we have the transmitters on the left hand column, the receivers on the top on the row, and you can see also the grouping for the AFHDS 2A. That's like the newest in the AFHDS. Well, no, that's the kind of the newest of the old version because they just came out with the AFHDS 3. But Typically, you're going to run into AFHDS, which are like the old ones, and then the AFHDS2A, which are the newer ones. Now, you'll notice that the FSI6X can uh, use all of the AFHDS. Uh... Wait, where am I? Where am I going here? AFHDS. It's one of those that you can't work with it. Nope, that didn't make any sense. So we'll just leave that alone. Um, <clears throat> that's coming in really bright, isn't it? It sure is. Um, yes. So there you go. That's basically it. 
Uh, this is going to give you some great information. They also do have that for the ANT protocol, which let's talk about that for just a second. ANT versus the, so it's a new, the new thing is ANT and then AFHDS3. What are the different protocols and why do they make a different? Like what's the difference? I, I don't really know, to be honest with you. I'm not really sure what the advantage of the ANT system is. Um, and maybe I missed something that Flysky said that was, you know, explained why it was different. But to me, if it's that hard to understand why it's different, then maybe it's not that different. Or maybe they should do a better job explaining it. So um, in the ANT, for example, I, I, I just gave away the FSST8 transmitter and that is one of the i think that's their only or one of one of their only uh air like like standard kind of airplane or drone transmitters the rest of these are for ground uh ground uses and that's usually followed with uh by the designated uh desig that's usually designated by the g in the name so you've got like fsg4p um and so on so yeah, I'm not really sure. If you know, if you know the difference or why ANT protocol is great or why you would want to use that over, let's say, the newest AFHDS3, let us know down in the comments. So if you want this technical on the protocol, the two different new protocols, you can click on the protocol uh, option at the top menu. That's going to tell you about the AFHDS3. Basically, it's just all better than AFHDS 2A, which was the, the previous main protocol that they were using. Now you'll notice in the frequently asked questions on the AFHDS 3 protocol, it says, is a AFHDS 3 protocol compatible with AFHDS 2A? The answer is no. However, it is possible to use an AFHDS 2A module with some of our radios, such as the PLA, PL8, to add AFHDS 2A compatibility. So what they're saying, it's okay, module, I just now realized this actually. <laughs> so what they're saying is they have a module, like a module pack, like an external radio protocol module that attaches to the radio, like a like a crossfire pack, like a, um, a ghost, like any of those other external uh transmitter modules and they're saying flysky has one that is for afhds 2a and so if you put one of those module external module packs on the radio then you can use it with afhds 2a so yeah the first thing is no they're not just easily crossover compatible or backwards compatible i really wish they were that would be great flysky because there's a lot of old receivers out there and a lot of people using these older products and it's going to be a bummer. Now, if we go over to the products page here, you can see the first thing they bring up are the different transmitters with the different protocols. So this is also a good way of kind of explaining sort of the different series of radios and the protocols. You've got AFHDS, which is the old version. So that's going to be the FST6, the FST4B, and the FSCT6B. And I think the T4B and the CT6B, I think those are just trainers. I don't even, I maybe, I guess you can use them with some things, but I think they're mainly meant to be trainers. And then the FST6, which that is definitely an older one. So you really, you don't, you don't want those. Those are like, those are old. They use the old protocol. They can't use the newer protocols. The AFHDS2A, that's going to include your I6S, your I6X, and your I4X, um, and, and as well as these other ones. And those are going to be your main transmitters actually the i4x i've like never seen one of those so it's going to be the i6x the i6 or the i6s confusing right yes so and then the ant protocol for uh the normal style of transmitters like for aircraft is going to be your st8 which we talked about and then the afa afhds3 the newest protocol that's going to be your pl18 pl18 light not sure what the light is for and the EL18, which I, I just now saw the EL18. So that's a brand new one. Um, and they that uses, what, Edge TX? So Edge TX is the operating system. So I don't know. Uh, I might like it. I might hate it. I'm not really sure. Fly Sky, if you want to send me one to see how I like it, I'll do it. But otherwise, I probably won't bother with it. probably don't really have the time to mess with that. 
uh, but it does look like a very interesting, unique design. Now, unfortunately, some of the products on the FlySky website do not have manuals, so you can't find out much more information. Uh, talking about receivers specifically, let's go to the receiver page. And here, this could also be helpful to you. It shows all the receivers listed by their protocol. So we have AFHDS, 2A, ANT, and 3. And that way you can quickly figure out which one falls into which category. That's kind of another thing that could help you. Now, um, if we click on one, like let's say the IA6B, that's a very popular one, uh, and we click specifications, it doesn't really do anything. It's just gonna, It's just gonna take us to the same page. We get some basic specifications, um, not much. We get the power, the voltage, data port, um, weight, not nothing very helpful. Um, so there's no manual for this, unfortunately. Uh, but some of them, um, like this one, like the X6B, that's made for like to go into a flight controller, like on a quadcopter. There is a manual for it, and we can, if we click download, it's going to open it in another window, and this is helpful this will tell us uh, the different connectors and pads and uh, how to bind it and that sort of thing so that's more helpful uh, I like that um, <clears throat> but not all of the receivers have manuals unfortunately um, FlySky does say that you can email them if you need more information about sp specific items I guess you probably flyskyrc at flysky.cn.net, I think is their email address you'd want to use. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. I appreciate your support. I hope this was worth your time. Leave me a comment if you have any questions uh, down below, and I will see you again very soon. Watch out. We'll get, I mean, we get bars. We get our goggles that show.